Tarkov, we have different stash sizes depending on the game version you bought. And the difference between the standard version and the ultra deluxe version is as big as when you compare a shipping container to a warehouse. And we don't want our container to look like this. Now of course containers are the optimal way to increase the stash space, but they are usually very expensive and especially at the beginning not easy to come by. That's why this guide will be without any containers. So this is the stash we're going to use. Some mats, weapons, gears and items for crafting and trading. It takes up a total of 380 slots and looks like what I would expect from other people's stashes that might look pretty similar. So now we're going to reduce it step by step, starting with the easy ones. Especially when space is limited, you should have a main loadout to which you stick. It's up to you what it is, maybe a 6p5 compact and a scaf backpack, or maybe the new Cordon VM armor, an MK3 rig, compact and a backpack. Completely up to you. Whatever it is, it's best to stick to it and sell everything else. And from the money you get from the other items, you buy your main loadout when needed. Of course, I understand that you don't want to waste a Reduct M, for example, since Rackman gives you only a fraction of the armor's worth. In this case, just play the armor. Otherwise, you could end up with the absolute nightmare of every EFT player. Gear feel. And then, since you play the same backpack always, you can stack them to infinity. And all of that saves already a lot of space. The weapons are the next thing that usually takes up the majority of space. But a pretty cool thing with weapons is that you can reduce the size drastically by first removing the magazine and the pistol grip. That reduces its height to 1. Then if possible also faulty stock. Uh, it's possible that the rubber pad or a sound mounted scope blocks the folding. So take those items off, fold the gun and then put the item back on. Applying this method we can further reduce the stash size. But now we have grips and magazines lying around. But for that we have already another space saving solution. Now the probably best trick here is this. While a backpack takes as much space as they offer, rigs don't. An MK3 rig for example takes only 12 slots but offers 20, almost doubling the available space. And as you can see we can fit the whole medical line in just one rig. But having a stash full of rig isn't really practical and completely confusing. And this is where backpacks come in. I personally for example like the Xenager bag for medical items. Then you put a rig of your preference into the backpack and voila! You have more space now that is kinda categorized. With the LBT rig for example you have some space left that allows you to put in survival kits. A belt rig on the other hand maximizes the win in space but you can't add free slots items so it's up to you to kinda manage that. Other possible combinations are for example a tea bag with an LPT rig for things like grenades, magazines, ammunition or an LK3F backpack with a Velocity System multi-purpose vest for stash and trading items. So the possibilities are almost endless. So applying this we end up with a much smaller stash and it has still 108 free slots in some of those rigs. So that we could fit 488 slots in this stash that we have now. But we have a reduction of around 40% which is pretty impressive if you ask me since we did not use a single container. I got some more tips but in terms of containers, of course later on containers are the way to go. But those are usually very expensive and in the meantime those methods can really help out and there are more to come, some bonus tips. First bonus tip, if an armored rig is your main loadout, then you can fill them with the items you need in raid and they therefore technically take up only half the space. Especially something like an M1 rig is amazing for that as it can hold almost everything you need for raids except for the backpacks and the weapon in most cases. The next bonus tip is insurance. Insurance is an amazing way of easily doubling your stash size. If you insure your gear by therapist, you have 7 whole days to collect your gear that gets returned. And during those 7 days you have a limitless stash for everything you don't need right away. 
just amazing. And the last bonus tip, if you need some space right away, another thing you can do is put an item on the flea market for a price that nobody is going to pay within a second. Then remove the item right away and then it's in Rackman's inventory and stays there up to 24 hours. So it's additional stash like therapist but with the advantage that you can use it instantly but you only have 24 hours to collect it, that's the disadvantage. Just keep in mind that you also have to pay for offering the item on the flea market. So this muffin isn't very good for very expensive items, more for the cheap ones. But if you need room just for a short time, for example because you plan on burning a lot of armors in factory, then it's a very good way of creating more space. Now, in the end I'm really not happy how the devs handled the stash and decided to make the standard stash so small and the upgrade costs are ridiculous. So I really feel your struggle and I hope that this video gives you some tips on handling the situation until you get your first containers. Alright, thanks for watching. If you have questions or feedback in general, please leave it in the comment section below. Leave a like if you liked the video and if you want to see more, of course subscribe. See you in the next video or in game, who knows?